Hi everyone. In the previous session, I couldn't be able to cover specific. Uh, I couldn't be able to record uh, how did we create Docker and how 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 are we running and all that. Now in this session, I'm going to show that specifically how are we uh, going to run Docker containers, you know, Docker container development and uh, understanding the architecture in depth about it. I'll also show you how do we uh, run Docker Cup file uh, and uh, how do we build, uh, how do we host some web application. So end of the day, when I take a .NET application and I start uh, making it uh, as a Docker uh, Docker image, I wanted to initially guys to understand how the Docker has such functions. What is a container? Uh, so I already covered what is a container uh, and Kubernetes in the previous classes. In this class, we are going to session. We are going to focus specifically on the hello world parts of Docker. And uh, let's get into that. So have the commands in place uh, as I missed in the previous uh, uh, session recorded. I'm going to reshare this again. So let me create, I go into a portal.com and I'll create a virtual machine so that I can run this hello world uh, Docker uh, containers into my uh, into the machine, virtual machine. So I don't prefer to run it on my machine. So I'll go ahead and create a Azure virtual machine. So let we RG, VN01, and I'll select this as no infrastructure shown and standard. I'll go to spot instance of what's not. This is pay as you go account, so that's the reason why I can go ahead and create. If yours is a free trial, please don't select spot instance. And painer. I'm just giving my password and then I write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'll choose the monitoring part. I will be said that rest I will need to go. So I'll click on create. And I have an issue with the validation. Let me understand that. So I'm going ahead and creating it. So I'm creating an Ubuntu machine and I'm going to install the Docker in it. And these are a series of commands which I'm going to run to install the Docker in the machine. And once we have the Docker in place, what is going to happen? We are going to run some commands. So yesterday in this class, in the previous class, I mentioned that we are choosing, uh, we have Docker client where we actually write the commands and that when we execute, it going, goes and communicates with Docker daemon and Docker daemon is the one which uh, will create, uh, will pull images from the uh, Docker Hub registry if it doesn't have it. So it can be a public repository official images or it can be uh, the uh, registry which is having private images. So if you are having private images, you have to go and do a Docker login but official images won't don't, don't need to have a Docker login facility. So what is Docker Hub? And uh, let me show that after this. Uh, so once I get this images, I yeah, Docker daemon keeps it locally, a store copy so that whenever again, the user is trying to create any uh, containers out of that image, that case again, uh, Docker daemon doesn't need to go to Docker. Docker Hub registry. Instead, it actually pulls from its local system, so it saves that image into that uh, into the local system storage. Now, once the uh, image is there, now Docker daemon creates container out of it. What is a container? Container is an instance uh, where the actual image is running, just like a Windows 11 image. You keep a CD and install the OS into your machine and uh, the same way you install uh, the Docker daemon takes care of 
setting up a container space uh, or a, sp a boundary space making sure that that image is being considered as a virtual machine so it's a it's a kind of a vm environment but what all you can see from a vm in a vm where like ubuntu or windows you wouldn't be able to see a container in that same specific way but you can be able to log into it and you can function uh, perform some op uh, operations in that and we'll get to that you can we'll, i'll show you how i what am i doing in that uh, so can uh, this is because containers are so lightweight and so uh, secure and they're so easily operatable uh, manageable uh, so it makes our job easier in terms of uh, hosting microservices on a container and uh, i hope the virtual machine got created let's get into that okay so we can go created let me log into it so i have my PowerShell account i copy the ip address i just log into that machine so my username is trainer i use the public ip address of the machine and uh, i have to provide the password which is in the nm3 and once that is done I'm inside the machine. Now let me go ahead and use this command. So as the installation is not so big deal, uh, only thing is in your interview, the questions which you can expect on uh, Insta doc uh, on anything of related to Linux, of course, in terms of installations, what does an app, what do you do an app update? So you update your go. So while installing anything in Ubuntu, at first Ubuntu tries to check from its repositories and as we hosted right now a windows may, uh, ubuntu machine we are asking it to get updated its repository so it's updating all its repositories you see uh, checking from it and checking the latest uh, things and if everything is done four packages have been upgraded that's it and then i am going to install some prerequisites which a docker needs to have So I'll click on S. I'm going to install then going to run this command. Okay. I'm adding the Docker repository into my Ubuntu repository. And I'm going to install Docker. Okay. So you need to know all this, guys. So if you go into Google and search for how to install Docker in Ubuntu, you get the link. First link, please. Uh, you can utilize it. So I prefer DigitalOcean for uh, this one. Okay. And I have a running the installation. Now installation is good. I'll check the status if the Docker is running or not. So what is Docker running? Docker engine, I mean, Docker DMN, which uh, we we'll call the runtime also. So I see that it is running right now. So it's good. Now, every time if I wanted to run right now Docker, uh, uh, I think it's working good, so no needed. Okay, now few things which I'll check is to run the Hello World program, Docker image list. Uh, okay, so the permission is denied. The reason is because I didn't make myself as a super user to run some commands. So here it is. I'm going and running it. And be an at the rate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have to use my username. Trainer. So I'm giving, I'm asking as a user, a trainer, I have the permissions to 
Okay, I'm Docker commands. Image list. There you go. We got it. Now I wanted a hello world program. So I can say Docker container. If I check in Docker container, I have the run command. So Docker container run hello world. So hello world is an image. What happened? So hello world is an image which when I ran this one, so this is a Docker client. Docker client has uh, interacted with Docker daemon saying that, oh, you have to take a, you have to run a container with, uh, which is of hello world image. And uh, now it started looking for the world latest local as it is unable to find that's the reason why i just initially typed it docker image list i wanted to have the list of images in my current machine and i don't have anything that's the reason why it was not able to find that and it started pulling it from the docker hub and when it started looking for it library hello world it pulled it and the pull was first complete so first as i mentioned it took from the docker hub pulled it and it kept it in this local system so then it started building the Docker image. So if you see, hello Docker, this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. And the Docker client contacted the Docker daemon. So what is the Docker client contacted? This command, which is nothing but a Docker client, has interacted with Docker daemon. And Docker daemon pulled the image from Docker hub. And then Docker daemon created the new container, has created a new container. and uh, then it started uh it's once it ran the container that output which has and uh, came from that container that has been uh, streamed by docker daemon and it has been pushed to the docker client and that's the reason why we are able to see this output so this is actually an output which is generated by running from the container and that has been pulled into docker uh, client why such a tedious process uh, when we can run a scripts uh, which will get an outputs and all that. Please don't imagine it that way. Uh, don't relate the container with a script and because you're seeing this hello world, don't get confused. Uh, the reason is because container as a virtual machine, it's kind of in a virtual machine, virtualized and machine uh, OS environment, which has some dependencies to run some specific things. So whatever it has run in that process in a container, that output which was generated is this one. And so, there in this hello world it was only to show us it was running successfully but the other images like when you roast in uh, nginx or apache or whatever it is ubuntu so in the container it is going to run and all that so here let me actually show docker image list and do you see right now hello hold previously we haven't seen it now if you see docker container list we don't have the containers which are running right now. So when you type Docker container list and uh, you will only see uh, what are the containers which are running. But when you type hyphen A, you will see all the containers which are even stopped and running. So if you wanted all the containers which are stopped, then you have to type ls hyphen A or list hyphen A, whatever it is, your comfortability. So this will uh, get us whatever. So how could I say that this is container stopped? You see in status, it is exited and it was two minutes ago. Okay, so it ran it and that output which came, uh, Docker daemon has pushed it to Docker client and that's why you are able to see it in right now as in uh, from the terminal. And let me right now post. So let me show you Docker hub. So when it is pu pull pulling the images from Docker, so let me open the Google and say docker up and uh, i'll say ng next official image so in in reality organizations will go and purchase uh will purchase the uh uh, we will register into it and will have the repository for private repository so that no one will have access and only and uh, only to the approved users they will have access to download their images and all that so they have to register into docker hub and everything 
and they should have access to this. The official images are the ones which uh, everyone can have access to public. And uh, you know, why did I go to Nginx? Nginx is one where we prefer to host websites uh, and all that. So here, uh, let me go and create an Nginx. So how do I do it? So I'm running it in a container. I can run as many uh, I wanted. Uh, uh, so uh, processes or workloads I wanted in a container, in different containers. In this container, I'm actually running Docker container run hyphen D hyphen P hyphen D is nothing but a detached mode. So I'm saying that don't log into a container at this point of time. Run it as a detached mode and hyphen P is a porty port sorry and in port I'm saying that connect the AT port of the local machine to AT port of the container. And what is the image? I'm saying in Gmx and Let's see. So first what happened? It's it will not able to find it locally. So your interview, your question would come back as what happens when I run a uh, Docker container run in hyphen D, what is D or hyphen IT, which is uh, interactive terminal mode and what is hyphen P in hyphen P uh, when I mention AT uh, colon 80 what does it mean what does 80 represents is it the port of machine or is it the port of the container so first is the host the next is the container then we have the image name now when you pro enter it so then uh, docker client is the command which interacts with docker daemon and it will start pulling the image which will first start checking the, whether this image is there locally in the system or not if there is not then it say it will start pulling it from the official library of docker hub now if you're already it's not in the official library hub it's actually in your private repository first you have to ensure that you have done a docker login and once that pull is complete into the local system then we have the image in place to run it and it will run a content create a container and uh, do it so this is how you have to explain now if i go for docker image list i have uh nginx in it and if you see there's an nginx and i have docker container list if i check it i will get i didn't mention hyphen a so i will only get the list of cont email containers which are running and if you see it it's up and running and as i connected it to the host port of 80 one thing i have to go and do is i have to go to the vm if i wanted to validate the nginx is running or not i go into this networking section and i have to enable for the vm 80 port so let me go ahead and do it i'm going and allowing the 80 port i'll copy the ip address public ip address of this machine and i will paste it here let me see if i'm able to run i'm able to get nginx official image or not so it's going to take certain time so this pt port is for created you should be able to see nginx in it yeah so usually sometimes it takes a minute like that for uh, the image to pop up. Let me see container list. It's up and running. It's good. Yeah, there we go. I see that right now a welcome page of Nginx, which is nothing but coming from the host port. So the container is still running. So whenever any users are sending the request to the server suppose right now i run in container an application image and all that and i host that uh, poor container uh, from a virtual machine connecting that container port to the uh, machine port and whenever some users are sending that request to this machine from this public ip address then automatically the container is the one which is getting the request and this is how we are actually running the uh, 
the applications and all that. Microservices right now using Kubernetes, why it's so famous is because of this way of hosting and managing that from containers. And because the, the what is meant by lightweight, if you see the image, uh, the, the Nginx image, uh, it's just uh, some couple of MB. Uh, let me go from Docker Hub and we can actually validate itself there. So how much MB would be there? Mm, no details about it could be mentioned here. It's literally very lightweight, and uh, that's what makes uh, images so uh, like uh, uh, preferred ones. Because when you wanted to host an Nginx, normally when you are creating a machine, you have to install Nginx in it, and then you have to run it. So for that, you need to first an OS and all that. Whereas here just takes the necessary dependencies for nginx to work and that only those will be as a base image it will nginx will be running in it and you can post your web application now let me go and change here uh, so i'll go inside the container in this day, next demo which i'm getting into is get inside the container my container is running if i look at it look at container first and i'll see it's running now i'll go inside the docker container right now docker container execute i'm going and saying i'm going inside the one i'm saying tractor and here i'm going to use the container id to log in i'm saying that to docker client communicate to docker email that i want to go inside the container so you have to have a container id which is unique and docker contain execute and then i'm going to say that i want it to enter into the dashboard and if you see right now i'm inside the container root of container id i'm inside the container what i wanted to do here i wanted to go and change this uh, this uh, what do you say home page now for that uh, i'll go and check let's see where no uh, it's in user so yeah it's in user share and there we should have nginx right yeah here it is the nginx system i'll say Uh, let's do another net. Wanted to change the home page, so this is where the home page is. So I'll go inside. And I'm inside it. I'm clear the screen. Now I wanted to edit the index.html. Something which uh, you would uh, have to install the edit. Uh, this one have to install the editor because there won't be any editor as such so to go and edit i'll install kudo install UI. so i have to uh, to install in this one there should be something in place or so I'll copy this. I'll first add index.html. I'll copy this. Now I'll only keep one. Here I'm going to mention I'm going to remove all these things. Title is the title is needed. Remove the style which I not need right now. I will keep the head as it is. And then bodies 
will renew this all things in the form. Go back here. So index dot HTML. So echo. Anyways, how to get your mouse. Yeah, if I type index.cat.html, here we go. I have in this one, this one. Now, if I go and refresh it, it should not be seeing all this. I should be only seeing we come to engineers. There we go. I could able to see it and I can see the title. Now, here, let me go and change that instead of it. Welcome to. Docker demo. Yeah, okay, solutions. I'll copy this. I'll go back here. Say I call. I'm overwriting it. I don't have an editor. This is one of the best ways to go and create it. I go and do it. You should be seeing this is a Docker demo, and the same will be okay. The title is being changed to be attributions. This is actually running in a container, not uh, and that is running on a Docker runtime engine, and uh, Docker engine is taking care of the container, and Docker engine is running on a virtual machine, M01, and that is being posted on my show. So this is how you actually run the Docker containers, guys, and. Uh, it is, and I got into this command, so I went and done an execution. I posted, I ran that uh, container once I ran out of I wanted to go exit, I went, I came out of it. Now, do you think the container will be still running or not? Still will be up and running, and uh, there is no new containers other than the hello world. So, if you see the image, previous one is hello world, and this current one is image is engineers. So if you wanted to know what all containers are running in your uh, your uh, machine, Docker engine, so you can see your container list. Based on the image, you can understand that, okay, from when you created in days to the status is up and running or not, will validate. And this is how you do it. I will uh, right now do uh, one more thing. Now I am actually going in creating the image and I'm running, I'm going inside the container and I am uh, changing this files and whatever index page. I don't want to do this. I would think I don't want to do a series of steps. We achieved it out of it. Now that's where the Docker file comes in. I have a sample Docker file, which I've shown yesterday, but uh, as the recording is not there, I'm resharing the same one. So I close this at this point of time and let me get to the Docker file. So this links where you can find the Docker file and all that. I will show that here. And uh, you look at this. If you go inside this, both of those links, you will be able to. I'll share this file. So you can uh, you can go and check this from this. Uh, what was uh, their explanations of Docker can, uh, image, sorry, Docker file? Because some commands which you will get from interviewers, what is TMD, what is uh, WRK directory, working directory, all this. So I have tried partially mentioning most of it. Yeah. If I go and Check this out. So let it get a uh, little bit completely. Yeah. There we go. So here they try to explain what is from going to run and get and all that. I'll explain anyways the specific Docker file, but these are the commands which you will get in the interview.
let uh, you will be asked do, so do you know docker file what is the purpose of a docker file and okay so if you have answered this the next come interview questions which will be coming in is tell me some comments which you are aware in docker file what comments are you did you use it in docker file and uh, so, or they'll ask you this what is a copy command as an expose command and all that so here let me go to docker file which i used it i'm saying that the docker file is used what is it used for whenever i wanted to run a series of commands and all that uh, and all that uh, so docker can go use a docker file to do that series of operations you are trying to say uh, you don't need to go and create a container and create a go inside it and all that instead you can uh, here say that from ubuntu you're going into the ubuntu uh, choosing from ubuntu means uh, you're taking that image from the uh, from the uh, docker hub so if you see from where we are pulling an official image of from ubuntu this is an official image provided by docker hub and they it's going and pulling that official image from docker hub and that is ubuntu image and then after it that Ubuntu image it ran as a container what is the thing which you wanted you i want you to go next thing which docker you wanted to do is run the command apt get update it will go and run uh the apt get update and it's going to update as repositories and the next thing it will go and do is app get install nginx hyphen y so uh, you wanted uh, so you're installing nginx in that container which is an ubuntu with which right now it's running so does it have all the ubuntu uh, whatever uh, dependence or the uh, software which would be needed in use normally seen in ubuntu no at this point of time to an uh, ubuntu does some operations that basic operations is what you see that in the container and uh, just like right now i see in nginx i don't have editors vi vm and all that one thing which i did mistake is i, I didn't run i was trying to run good app get update we, instead of that you should have we, i should have ran at hyphen get update or it would have worked probably but like i am just going from ubuntu at get hyphen update uh, then i'm installing the nginx in that container and uh, then i'm going to copy index.html from my local file machine and then i will post that in the uh, Varied, uh, varied up, up, uh, container that's one then i'm going to expose the container 80 port okay and uh, then i'm going to say that don't detach yourself uh, let it be running uh, so i said nginx hyphen g daemon off so that the nginx will be running in the background and uh, that's where the cmd is the command it's going to execute saying that it should be running in the background and i'll take this file and i'm going to run it now this currently this file is in this uh, path in this practice folder so i'm going to that one i have so you have to locally create that file docker file and that naming convention should be docker file itself i'm changing my directory so that i can go inside the uh, that folder and I'm there. Okay. So I have to sorry, I have as I'm running this in my machine. So I have to go and get into this one. So let me stop it. I will I'm as in my machine. I have to copy this. So I'll create file called docker file vi docker file and there we go i created one let me go and copy this docker file i'll go and save it escape the wq which is saving it and quit and i have right now docker, the content in this it's good to go i'll clear the screen the next thing I wanted is I need an index.html, the sample one which I wanted it. So I'll create it. I will go here. So this is the sample one which we have at this point of time, which I uh, 
what do you say? This is the uh, one which in the next one, the sample page. So you can choose whatever it is. What you can get a lot of things from uh, Git. So, anyways. There we go. So let me mention here. Okay, I can close it and TRK solutions and we are good. On escape and WQ is saving it. I have this right now, so I can run the image. So, at this point of time, if you see image list, I have a okay, image list for a typo there. The mention didn't mention the uh, this one, and I have container, I have one container running, and that is using. Uh, what do you say? Uh, AT port, which I don't want at this point of time to using it because I am going to run a container right now, uh, which is running on the AT port. So I'm going to remove, uh, stop this container. How do I stop it? Docker container. Uh, the command for this is Docker container. Stop. If you see there's a stop, okay. Docker container stop. And what do you want to Docker to stop? What to specifically mention container ID. Because I'm going to mention stop this container. Now if I look at it, Docker container list hyphen A. This is being stopped. Now if I go and run this. Do you think the web page will come? No, because the request which has to come the server is there is no server which is going to present for that request. It's not running. So let me build the Docker image from this Docker file. So I was saying some series of commands, right? Docker file is going to first build an image or Docker. So Docker build is a command, and I'm going to name the page name saying that. File sample is the image name, and then I'm going to say use the current from wherever in current path I am. I want you to take the Docker file in it, and as it starts looking for a Docker file, it will find it because in the current path where am I am, is Docker file and Docker index.html. If you why did I keep index.html? Because here I mentioned that take the index.html and keep it there. So this is good. So what just happened? Uh, let's understand that. No, it's just it was it it started running those commands. Okay, so this command it's trying to create a container. It installed uh, it pulled a Docker into it, Docker Ubuntu in it, then ran the app, updated it, updated it. So it's creating a virtual. Uh, it's creating a mock environment uh, itself. Docker using Docker files. Creating it, installing it, and then once everything is in set in place, then it made it as an image and uh, pushed it there. Right now, if you see Docker image list, I will be seeing a Docker files hyphen sample. But do I have any container? No. So if I say Docker container list hyphen A, you see there is Nginx, there is Hello World. There is nothing related to uh, any container which got created and all that, but created it, it, it would have deleted it, it had have deleted. But my point is, creates in a mock environment, and from everything is set in place, whatever commands, and then it created an image out of it. And uh, now I'm going to use the uh, that image Docker file sample to run my application. So, Docker container run. Hyphen D hyphen P 
I'm saying connect the AT port of our whole machine to AT port of the container because in the command Docker file it said expose AT port. That is why we'll be able to see AT port has been uh, can be connected to our host machine. Here I'm going to say Docker file sample. Uh, that's it. And let's see Docker container list name and the one is up running which is nothing but the image of docker file sample now let me go and refresh this they connected it should be saying this is a docker file demo so what just happened i previously tried to go inside the image container and i tried to change this one now using docker file i was not doing that so this is a very important one when you're going and building an image out of the application because when you tomorrow you go and start building any uh, application and all that you're going to only just copy the dependencies that uh, the build executable files and put it in the container and automatically uh, that will start running so this uh, this is the docker file is so important that it will start creating uh, it as an image application and you can run it as a container when you are trying to use docker run container run uh, so please understand the importance of docker file because without docker file right now you can't be building you can do a lot of things the docker compose uh, can use the command and all that right now i'm not getting into the too much complexity when i just wanted to explain the hello world here and uh, so just understand uh, to this level and uh, uh, in next uh, sessions, we would be going further talking about how do we create a Azure Kubernetes service? How am I going to run the Azure Kubernetes or deploy the application into it? And the next goes is in Azure DevOps session, we are going to cover how are we going to run the, uh, how are we taking a build of an image uh, application and we are trying to make it as a Docker image. And then that image I'll be keeping it in an Azure container registry and I'll be pulling it through using Azure Kubernetes. I'll deploy it or I'll pull that one into Azure Kubernetes. So I'll do a deployment. I'll show you even that one. So this will end up uh, end off uh, will end the Kubernetes scenario. Please let me know if you have any questions, but I want you to guys to make sure you practice how this Docker file works. Please, uh, this even you guys don't understand much of the terminologies. Please try to do the same uh, what I've done. And from that, you come back to the questions. Why did I do this and why did I do that? And at least you will have that initial uh, uh, if you are actually preparing for interview in the next some five days or one week or two weeks, this will really give you a helping hand uh, to answer at least some 30 percent of your questions. There are more and more there are more questions equally if uh, how do we troubleshoot uh, when a container is stopping i would like to go into the logs and check it uh, how do i why i would like to understand why docker container is not running so here i've ensured uh, that i'm not getting any errors but in yesterday's session uh, if you remember i was trying getting an errors i was trying to go and troubleshoot what is exactly happening on it and because that was not being there, we are getting into this. But anyways, uh, my point is, as we keep going, uh, there is an extension to it. It's not just enough here. Docker is more to it. You need to learn Docker commands. So the other Docker commands which you will be uh, having is when you type Docker, the most important commands which you will get is Docker kill. Uh, Sorry, not this one. Docker volume. Why do you have a Docker uh, uh, volume place? Because when containers are running, they are, suppose let's take Nginx is running on a container, it's going to generate some specific application data. Now, if container is stopped, what is going to happen to the data? The data will be lost. The data you will not be able to recover that data. Now, when in such cases, we don't want the data to be lost so we'll attach a storage saying uh, which is we term it as here volume we attach a volume to the container so that every time anything won't have to be stored by this 
application which or the workload which is running on the uh, container it's going to store it in that one and that's called a persistent storage what's a persistent storage even the container stop the storage which is there in your machine or is it been in the some other disk and all that it will be still there and uh, the other one is docker network why do we have to have a network so even uh, right now when uh, docker is creating the containers and all that it is creating its own network a default network and it is running it but when you wanted to place containers in a different network based on their what containers applications which are running in that then you prefer to uh, use docker container sorry for that and next one is image which we have already seen in it the next one is container we already have seen that uh, the build we have tried it so docker compose is also good that we have docker compose here uh, so some common commands which you are seeing and to run the docker you can use docker run or you can use docker container run you can use docker image pull or you can say docker pull so it's it's fine okay but please remember that when you are pulling the images you have to do docker login so if you see there that we have a login here and we have pull we have push the common commands which are there so actually it is docker pull or docker image pull are same so in reality we use docker image pull but uh, but if you can see here it was like docker pull is also works that because most use commands they use the docker hub team has worked on even ensuring that you can just run those docker pull commands simultaneously and instead of docker container execute we can also write exe so if you remember to go inside the container i did exe see execute so they will ask an interview question saying that uh, how would i go inside a container you can go ahead uh, and say exe see how would i know that container is running use a docker container list and uh, uh, there you see in the status bar if it is stopped what should i do i should go and check from the docker container logs so if i go and type docker container logs or uh, docker container now when i type this what all commands which i can run with container you can see that now here i can fetch the logs of a container i can kill the container but everything you have to get the first what is the container id you can get it from the docker container list and then you can exactly say that restart the container or pause the container or stop the container start the container whatever you wanted it remove the more or number containers you can even do that so there are much more to docker things that's where you have to go and uh, go through the docker training session because when you wanted to learn docker you have docker swarm also and docker swarm is also a container orchestrator tool but because kubernetes as something have have more plugins and have done a very good job in terms of managing it so kubernetes became a huge hit and uh, the community has helped it grow and right now you can see docker uh, kubernetes sorry kubernetes services across all the clouds and when you keep devops as a profile one of the most expected skill sets or 95% of the expected skill sets will be on kubernetes so if you don't know the first docker you wouldn't be able to convince them what is kubernetes and you will not be in a position to understand how to go and run things in kubernetes so please guys practice this and understand how it works and all that so at this point of time i'm stopping